Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 29th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew. Long awaited. It's been a while, some, some time. I think it's been eight days, but here we are looking at the last 48 hours on the sun as we had a very active day on the sun. An M class solar flare in an Earth facing position is on its way to us. Also, three CMEs in the past 48 hours. Very active. Looking at images here incoming. Lots of plasma whipping around the surface of the sun right now. And as well, some very active sunspots. Looking at outgoing images, you can see the plasma is reacting in all of the northwest, southwest, northeast, and southeast regions. And then we've got the lateral earth facing two sunspots here. And the bottom one released an M-class solar flare today. And we were instantly affected with a very fast space weather event. M-class solar flare is on its way to our planet The backside of the sun has been pretty active as well. The whole dynamics of the sun have really changed over the last couple of weeks. I've been monitoring and trying to keep you guys updated daily. But there's the event from the other day. I did post a video. And then today, pretty large solar flare. M-class solar flare. Multi-spectrum here. No Earth-facing coronal holes to talk about, but a pretty active incoming region here on the northwest side of the sun. Looking at another light, no darker regions showing coronal holes. Slightly diminished coronal hole developing along the equator, but still nothing major in this spectrum very active day the last well 40 very active 48 hours solar x-ray flux is elevated up to an m class solar flare today as well c class and looking at the annual spiral here iswa showing the space weather that is heading our way and as well towards stereo b pretty large event there Highly electric event too. Looking at the electron flux. And as well the DRAP absorption here. Overlooking Africa. Major impact over Africa. And then across the Atlantic. Pulsing. And then through Central America. And it even affected the satellites here. Looking at Collage de Page. You can see something affected the satellites today and it came up through here as well northern lights stretching down to parts of northern Ontario last night as across the northern hemisphere a very large aurora was present from the last few events on our sun looking at our Schumann residence for today we're looking at a power of 26 and our current solar wind speeds are steady at about 350 kilometers per second. Power of 26, quality of 6.6. .6. Let's have a look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours. Quiet compared to what I've reported before. It's been a quiet week, but the last two days we did see an increase. Small swarm in Markleyville, California. But we're still seeing sizable earthquakes here in the Antarctic Plate, South Sandwich Islands. Largest in the region today being a 5.2, as well as 4.9 here reported South Shetland Islands at a 14-kilometer depth. Activity through South America today, 4.2 at 199 or 109 kilometer depth. Northward there into Chile, Atacama, 5.3 
at 184 kilometer depth. So sizable movement through South America today. Caribbean plate seeing a 4.4 here. Northern Colombia as well a 4.3. Sardinal and as well Puerto Rico. Some action coming back to the region. Minor earthquakes reported there as well. Largest earthquake through the North American plate, 3.2 there, BC-Mexico border, and as well, small swarm continuing through Mer- Markleyville and minor earthquakes right up into Washington. Port Alexander here with a 2.9, pretty quiet through Alaska. Chiniac seeing a 3.3. Deep earthquake here, 4.3, 483 kilometer depth. Russia in the Sea of Okhotsk, as well as 4.4 here reported. Japan, 4.2 here, Western Zhang China, Tibetan Plateau, 4.8 here in Pakistan reported today, and as well as 4.2 and a 4.1 in Afghanistan, and as well a rare earthquake here in Morocco, 5.3. Reported today at a 10 kilometer depth. And let's head into Malaysia and Indonesia. 5.5, that is the largest earthquake the last 24 hours. 4.8 there, 164 kilometer depth, Banda Sea. And as well, action just west. 4.5 here, Indonesia, 75 kilometer depth. So pretty deep and fours, fives going through Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. A 77 kilometer depth there, 4.9. And then a pretty deep earthquake just recently, a 4.3 at a 601 kilometer depth. We can always expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow after a big deep earthquake like that in Fiji. So heads up. Stay aware and prepared, and thanks for tuning in. Minor earthquakes through Hawaii as well have been increasing over the past seven days through Hawaii. But lots of fours across the planet, increasing to fives today. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. According to USGS and as well, Walton. Earthquake 3D. That's the app that I use here. Lots of activity there. South Sandwich Islands still. Looking at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Starting out here with Fuego in Guatemala. As well, Swiss and Najima in Japan. Lots of fires through South America sparking up this week. Shevelich in Russia. Merapi in Indonesia, Raventador in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Semisnapochnoi in Russia, and as well, Nevada's to Rules, Colombia, Sabankaya in Peru, and Novarupta has awakened yet again in the United States, and that is in Alaska. Novarupta is a dormant supervolcano. As well, Merapi and Cadavor. So looking at about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. And across the, our oceans right now, we have three tropical storms to talk about. Tropical Storm 10, Tropical Storm Ida, and as well, well, Hurricane Ida and Tropical Storm Nora. Now, as I showed earlier in the forecast, it looks like it may change over the next 24 hours. But most likely will be a Category 3, if not ramping up into a Category 5 hurricane by the time it hits Louisiana. Just looking at satellite imagery here over the last 12 hours. Let's have a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorEarth and as well DailyEventsWorldwide.com. And we're going to start out here, home base, Brantford, Ontario. That's right, I'm visiting, taking care of some family matters, if you don't all know. So yeah, we are looking at some Pretty scattered extreme weather throughout the week here in Ontario. Big system north of us heading into Quebec. And then we have 
Hurricane Ida, who will be coming in through the southern Gulf states and then heading into New York City. New England states again, so New York about to get hit twice in one week by major category hurricanes. So lots of weather moving into Ontario and as well Ontario this week. Well, Ontario and Quebec as well, Western Canada and Central Prairies. Big storms going to be popping up with a big low developing there later in the week. Low pressure system here moving southward and is going to bring some extreme weather through all of Alberta this week. It is a big system and is going to bring a lot of rain through northern and central parts of Alberta, not quite southern. And then watch for that extreme weather to move eastward through the prairies. Other than that, we've got a pretty hot Gulf states. So tropical storm right now. Ida most likely will be a hurricane when it makes landfall. Possibly a Category 3. The forecast can change so quickly. We also have Tropical Storm Nora, who is going to be heading straight northward. And that's the strange thing about today's forecast, is watching all of these forecasted models of the hurricanes head straight northward, even in the middle of the Atlantic. you got Tropical Storm 10 there, but then we've got another one developing off the coast of Africa in the long-range forecast, which could be an even bigger storm. So we're looking looking the Atlantic. It's about to get hectic in there, I tell you. Europe forecast. We do have a lower pressure system moving through central regions. Going to bring some extreme weather as there is some really hot air eastward. As well, a northern low moving into parts of northeastern Europe and Russia. Some intense and cold lows that are really spinning around the Northern Hemisphere right now. I'd hate for them all to join forces, which I think they will. Coming soon to a planet near you. Overlooking Southeast Asia and into India. Lots of rain moving through northern parts of China and into Korea, South Korea, into Japan. Low pressure system moving through. As well, a low-pressure system moving up the coast of India this week. And as well, lots of daily evaporation rain. Monsoon rains continue through the region. Papua New Guinea, daily evaporation rains. Indonesia, same. No major systems moving through. Overlooking Australia. Rain moving in. Wednesday into Thursday, parts of Southwestern. And as well, Monday into Tuesday for parts of Southeastern Australia. And as well, some pretty cool temperatures. But things are starting to heat up in northern parts of Australia. So watch for the extreme weather to start to move in as things start mixing up. Overlooking the Pacific. No major weather systems affecting Hawaii this week. Big low moving into Alaska. South America. No major weather systems to talk about. Except daily evaporation rains. And in the long range you could have tropical system heading towards coastline. If it doesn't go northward like the other ones. As well watch for extreme weather through Argentina. Brazil border. And as well, heavy snow amounts through parts of southern Argentina in the long range. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems affecting you except for later in the week. Could see a big, tight, low pressure system develop through Nigeria, heading out into the Atlantic. And as well, very cool conditions moving into parts of South Africa this week. And possible major hurricane developing for the Atlantic. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Pointing out the major systems 
on our planet. Southern Hemisphere kind of going beast mode with this big low pressure system. It's bigger than Australia. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Prayers for humanity and thank you for watching. And thank you to all of my friends and family from around the world for all of the support. Do crew, I love you. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.